sada i uve. SOS kanal. Naš sagovornik je Steven Franciskakis iz Australije, novo pojačanje Sinđelića. Steven, please introduce yourself. Tell us something about your career. When did you start to play football and something about your clubs? I start playing, I'm from Australia, I'm 23 years old. Um, start playing football pretty much for as long as I can remember. Um, my father was a football player, so as soon as I was born, pretty much straight into football. Um, and yeah, playing in Australia, a um, long time, and yeah, moving to Serbia now to play here. Mm -hmm. uh, something about your clubs, uh, how many clubs uh, do you have before Sinjelic? Before Sinjelic uh, in Australia, I've moved many clubs, um, from juniors all the way up to first team. Um, I've also been to Spain for a little, for, uh, little while, which was a good experience as well. And um, now looking forward to a new challenge here in Serbia. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell us something about uh, the quality of football in your country. In Australia, it's different football. Um, A-League is different style to here. It's a good level. Um, but um, we're finding a lot of players now moving overseas and abroad for more opportunities. And um, I think it's good for many players to experience football in Europe and um, broaden horizons and see many more opportunities. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is the main uh, motive, uh, main reason uh, for coming to Serbia? My main goal is to see what, how far I can take my football. Um, I have passion for the game, so I love uh, travel as well. So I would just want to see how far I can take and test myself and really just enjoy the journey as well. Mm -hmm. And what is the main difference between uh, Serbian and Australian football? Serbian and Australian football, I don't want to compare directly, but it's a <laughs> different style. I think um, not just in Serbia, but football in Europe in general is much faster, the players are just a little bit higher quality, uh, much higher quality. Um, and yeah, just faster, stronger, a different style as well. But mm -hmm. the quality is right up there. And what do you think about your new club, Sinjelic? Yeah, it's been good. Um, I've been in Sinjelic for a little while now. Um, it's been good, um, the transition, all the coaches, very professional, how they run. The players have been very welcoming as well. So it's been good transition for me. and. Um, yeah, looking forward to season now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is uh, the main position? Your, ma your main position? Yeah, my main in position team? is a centre-back defender. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you like some players on your position uh, from uh, world clubs? Yeah, um, I think uh, I have many favourite players, but right now I think uh, Virgil van Dijk is uh, my favourite player. I'm also a Liverpool supporter, so mm -hmm. yeah, I'm enjoying. And from uh, Serbian players, do you know well or not? Serbian player I like uh, Nemanja Matic at the moment, but um, I think hottest man in Serbia right now is Novak Djokovic uh, oh. winning Australian Open, which is good for country as well. <laughs> Many people speak in club for Novak, mm -hmm. so it's good. Uh, did you know something about Serbian football before you come to Belgrade? Serbian football, um, I have some friends in Australia from a long time, say, Serbian football is good, um, always talking about Serbia, the country as well. They say nice girls, nice food, nice everything. So um, yeah, I know a little bit about it and um, come to China. Uh, how long are you here? Um, Signed contract till June um, and then we'll see what happens after June. Um, I'm just focused now on our time here. Training's been good, been working hard. Coaches have been monitoring all players, so it's good. And uh, yeah, looking forward to this challenge now and just see where we end up after. Uh, did you watch uh, some uh, matches of uh, two big clubs in Serbia? Partizan yeah. Red Star. Red Star was playing uh, Champions League yes. last, uh, last summer. Yeah, I, I actually got to Red Star versus Paris Saint-Germain. Mm -hmm. It was a good experience, unreal atmosphere. I never <laughs> experienced anything like this before. Um, fans are crazy here, I think. <laughs> But it's good atmosphere, um, and yeah, I'm enjoying the football here as well. That is the main difference yeah. uh, uh, between Serbian and yeah. Australian football. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Crazy fans. Crazy fans, yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, have you got used uh, to living in Serbia? Yeah, I've been to uh, Serbia back and forth. Uh, this is my third time here, so I've, I've adjusted quite well. Living side is um, a little bit more European than Australia, if I can say. Um, it's good. I'm enjoying the transition as being good, and um, yeah, it's good. What do you like most in Belgrade? Most in Belgrade, I think, uh, have beautiful city. 
Um, I've been out to city centre a couple of times now. It's nice coffee shops. People is out and about. Maybe not now with snow. <laughs> people sit inside a lot. But um, yeah, I think great atmosphere in city. People are very welcoming. And it's good to get out and about and experience the city and see what Belgrade has to offer. Mm -hmm. And uh, your main uh, goal in the future? Main goal in the future is to stay in professional level and um, just to see how far I can take my football. I just want to, as I say, enjoy the journey and see where we end up. And um, yeah. Još jedno pojačanje je Sinđelića koji je izvjesno vreme ovdje na Vračaru svopnil Raj Daka iz Indije. Mr. Daka, tell us something about yourself. Little biography. When did you start to play football? Something about your previous clubs. Yeah, my name, full name is Svopnil Raj Daka. I'm from India. From Jaipur, Rajasthan in India. So... I've, uh, I, I had two clubs back in India, Jaipur Football Club and Jalor Football Club. Also, uh, I think I started football right after the 2010 World Cup. So I watched the whole World Cup and I got like too much into football and then is like I started playing football. So, yeah. Uh, tell us something about your, uh, about the football in your country. What is the main quality? Yeah, football in my country, it's just starting, you know, but previously, uh, people were too much into cricket, but now football is also growing. The league is really good right now. They're investing a lot of money in Indian football, so it's getting there. It's improving. And what is your main motive to come to Serbia? Just to, to learn improve. football or yeah. something else? I just to improve my game, get the European experience, you know, get uh, improve my gameplay. That's mm -hmm. why. And uh, you are in Belgrade, uh, I think, a few months. Yeah, I or? think I've been here for. 13 or 14 months now, mm -hmm. more than a year. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, what do you think about Serbian football? Serbian football, yeah, it's really great. Same as European football. The game plays faster, more physical. So, it's, yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, Sinjelic, something about that, uh, your new club. Uh, what do you yeah. think about the Sinjelic, about your teammates, about uh, Chief? Yeah, Sinjelic, it's a great club. You know, everyone here speaks English. So, they, we are able to communicate very well to them. And yeah, all the players' environment is really good. Mm -hmm. And uh, how did your teammates uh, get you in the club? Yeah, they, your cooperation. It's good. Yeah, all of them are really friendly. They help me if I have any questions. I ask them. They help me with all the questions. Mm -hmm. Also, you have a, uh, you have uh, companies from, uh, from Australia, Australia and, and Kenya. Kenya? Yeah. 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 Are you? Yeah together yeah they are my you know they are my circle I hang out with them <laughs> most of the time yeah and uh, uh, what is uh, your uh, main goal in the coming period uh, what do you want in the future in the future uh, right now I'm focusing on this season perform well get more game time and then see how it goes trying to stay as long as I can in Europe and then go back to my country mm -hmm. and what is your main position I play as a midfielder, sometimes left or center. And yeah. how many uh, matches uh, do you play in Sinjelic? I've played few cup games against uh, Vojdovac and Vojvodina, and then I've played few uh, league games as well. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. difficult to play in Serbian. Football. Yeah, it's different than India. It's way more faster than India and more physical. Mm -hmm. uh, did you know something about Serbian football before you come to to Belgrade? Yeah. I watched uh, games in World Cup and then mm -hmm. I watched Nemanja Matic and Ivanovic in Chelsea. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And uh, two big cl clubs, do you know, before to come to Serbia? Yeah, Red Star Partizan and Partizan. I watched the uh, Serbian derby twice, both the times in Partizan. The atmosphere was crazy. You know, they had their flames and everything in the stands. Is there, is there in India something similar? Yeah, it is, but it's for cricket, not for football. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> it's for cricket. And uh, <coughs> have you got used to living in Serbia? Yeah. I've been Do you like food, uh, people or something else? Yeah, I've been here for long now, 14 months. So I'm used to the Serbian lifestyle, the food. Yeah, it's, it's different than India, but it's good. Do you yeah. have friends from India in Belgrade? Yeah, I, think, I have a uh, friend. Yeah, many who people came. come to Serbia. Yeah, now a lot of people are traveling to Serbia because it's like there's visa on arrival. Mm -hmm. 
So a lot of people are traveling from India to Serbia now. And uh, what do you like most in Belgrade? In Belgrade? Uh, I think I like Kale Megdan and then Nezmi Hailova. It's, it's a great place to walk. Yeah. Albert Muema iz Kenije je također novo pojačanje Sinđelića, pa evo da čujemo i njega kako on ocenjuje njegov boravak ovdje u Beoradu, ali i za početak da čujemo nešto o njegovi karijeri. Tell us something about your career. Uh, when did you start to play football, about your clubs and uh, something about that? Um, I started to play football at the age of six. I played in an academy in Kenya and uh, I played in uh, some first division teams in Kenya and I was able to go from there to Europe and uh, last I was having a training with uh, Lean FC in Norway. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, uh, tell us something about uh, the quality of football in your country. What is the main difference between uh, football in Kenya or in uh, Europe? Um, the difference is the standard of uh, the tactical level and uh, of course the technical level back in uh, Africa players are more skillful and uh, more of uh, running and less into the technical game but uh, Europe is more about tactical awareness and uh, less less to do with uh, physical ability and more to do with uh, being sharp and uh, uh, having good skills and playing together. And what is the main reason to come to Serbia to play football? Um, the main reason, I would say, is to continue on the path of playing in Europe because Europe is where the best football is in the world. And uh, I'm just here to continue my experience. Mm -hmm. uh, football club Sinjelic, what do you think about, about it? Um, Sinjelic is a good team. It's in the first league of Serbia, so this is a respectable league and I believe it's a place where if you perform well you could go to greater heights. So far the coaching, the programs, the teammates have been uh, good so I hope for the next remainder of the season uh, it will be a good uh, experience to see where we could end up in the next season. It's difficult to be a stranger in a Serbian football. I would say with yes, I think in any any country you go to as a foreigner, it's your there's expectations, and uh, I believe that you have to do what the coaches say, and you have to be ready for the challenge. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is your main position in club? I play as a left winger. Left winger. Yes. Mm, your speed. <laughs> is yeah. uh, main uh, main talent part of talent mm? uh, or not? <laughs> you could say yeah, eighty percent. Yeah, uh, you could say this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, do you have any goal in the coming period? What do you expect? Um, I expect a good season. I would say get some game time and uh, improve. Uh, my experience and that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. And do you like some uh, players for, from uh, world clubs uh, which they are play, which they are playing uh, on your position? I would say um, Wilfred Zaha, mm -hmm. I'd say Osman Dembele, uh, mm -hmm. yeah they are good uh, role models. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, did you know something about Serbian? football before you come to here to Belgrade yes uh, I was I used to train with a Serbian coach in Melbourne it mm -hmm. was called uh, Neb and uh, he improved Academy me. first football yes yes first football mm -hmm. and he improved my technique and he teach me one or two three things that I didn't know and yes I know Alexander Kolarov is a good mm -hmm. player I know Dusan Tadic Yes, so these Serbian are great players. Miloš Ninković? Yes, uh, He's a good FC. player in yeah, Australia. Yeah. <laughs> yes, in the FC, he's also a good player. Mm -hmm. So I have a short uh, um, knowledge of Serbian football, but so far I'd say they're good players. They're good players. Did you watch some matches uh, of two of our big clubs, Partizan, Red Star? 
I've not watched live yet, which I hope I could do that in the coming months. But I see on the television mm -hmm. uh, Red Star versus PSG, and uh, it was a good game. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, have you got used to living in Serbia? It's different than <laughs> Kenya. Yeah, I'd say that's. Do you like food? Do you like the people? Um, it's yeah, I'd say yes. I'd say yes. It's a bit different. Mm -hmm. That's why the cold and uh, I'd say the food is quite different. But um, it's okay. And uh, what do you like most in Belgrade? Some restaurants, some part of Belgrade? I'd say Nez, Nez Milosa is a good place. Nez Milosa, the walking Mikhailo, street. Nez Mikhailo, yeah. walking street. Yes. Yeah, the walking street. Mm -hmm. And the coffee culture is also good here. Mm -hmm. So... I think it's a good city. Mm -hmm. It's a good city. And do you have some friends from Kenya here or not? Only one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only one. Yeah, for now. But you you have a friends <laughs> from Australia and uh, yes. from uh, <laughs> Yeah, we play the same club they're good from people. From India, yes. Yes. So we spend a lot of time together and it's it's nice. Okay. Thank yeah. you very much and uh, good luck in the future. Yeah, thank you for staying uh, in Belgrade and uh, after Sinjilic I, I wish you to play in a big club in Serbia. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. So yeah. Sada and Uve. SOS Kanal.